Good morning everyone. So today we go to Aruba. We're currently in Curaçao. Usually I don't film the travel between countries, but yeah, since these countries are so close to each other, I thought I'd um, yeah film film the travel there, the plane flight. And the international airport in Curaçao is really tiny. Just this part here, it doesn't go that much further down. But yeah, we're on a small island, so small island, small airport. So it looks like there's some sort of event going on. People are filming over there. <laughs> They're filming us right now. We're gonna be on TV, Carol. Oh, yeah. Put us out TV. When we arrived here the other day, this place was completely empty. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. So we just came to this cafe here. Got some cake here, lemon cake. That was, how much was it? $4.50? Yeah. Yeah, US. And that's also $4.50. What have you got there? Uh, cheese empanada and that was 350 $3.50. Yeah, so airport prices. <laughs> and I just asked the lady here what's going on outside. Why are all these people here in like a news group? And it's because today a lot of the students leave to Holland. They go there to study. So I guess it's a big event. I mean, it definitely is if like the news people are here filming it. So yeah, they're just filming people saying goodbye, stuff like that. So I guess all the students have already gone through because there's nobody here at all. And we're going to be using this airline, DV DV Air. It's a local Curaçao airline, but nobody here at the moment. We're the only passengers, Carol. Yeah. And I think we got like two hours, right? Yeah, maybe they're, they're about to come. I don't know. I hope so. But if it's a small flight, then it should be very quick, everything. Yeah. And the good thing is we can check in our big bags, so that was included, so we don't have to walk around with these, only these small ones. So I didn't talk about the requirements for entering Aruba yet. So just like a lot of places, we needed a PCR test, a negative PCR test within 72 hours. So we got that two days ago. And for Aruba, you actually need their insurance, which is $30 per person. I don't think it matters how long you stay in it. It's just gonna be $30 either way. And we didn't need that for Curaçao. We needed insurance for Curaçao, but we could use our own, which we use uh, World Nomads. But for Aruba, we had to pay for, for their insurance. And we can see two DVR planes. So there's that really tiny one there. I don't think that'll be it. And then there's this one over there that they just put the baggage on. So yeah, maybe we're going on that. That will be the smallest plane we've ever been on, I think, if it is that one. Tight fit. Yeah. <laughs> Good afternoon, welcome aboard. Yeah. This is DV flight 278 destination Aruba. The flight time to Aruba is approximately 30 minutes. Please fasten your seatbelt. And the uh, seat bucket in front of you, there's a safety instruction card. So I got lucky, nobody sat next to me. Almost a full plane though. Check it out. <laughs> Just a 
few spare seats. Yeah, you put, you put okay. Good over there? Yeah. Got the window view as well. Yeah. Alright, here we go. good yeah. nice and quick yeah. so the flight went super smooth it was like 30 minutes to get here literally the moment we sat down the flight took off like five minutes later and yeah just flying over this island when we were arriving it looks absolutely incredible so can't wait to explore this place and we also got this pre-approval thing right yeah because of this we, we were able to skip a big line i think we would be in there for like 20 minutes or 40 minutes on that other line but the thing that we did was like to follow all the steps that the, the government of aruba has in their website so we had to print this pre-approval test something like that and yeah then, and then we could get through really quick yeah. and barely anybody else did it no <laughs> so they're all in some massive queue yeah yeah Okay, well, we got our bags as well, so let's head out and see what Aruba's like. So the place that we're staying in is an apartment. We're in a park called Oranjestad West. Oranjestad is the capital of Aruba. And we're not that far from the airport. The drive here, I think, only took around um, yeah, maybe like seven, eight minutes. And this is $38, which is one of the cheapest places we could find, really, on Booking.com this time. Got a really nice big kitchen. Just a big, nice area overall. And it is an AC room. And even the bathrooms, pretty big too. So yeah, we like what we've seen and the internet seems pretty good as well. And then out here, on the outside it looks a bit run down, so when we arrived <laughs> we thought maybe it wouldn't be so good, but yeah, on the inside it looks really nice. And it's a good location too, because there's a beach, I think it's like 12 minutes walking that way. And we've also got like a supermarket that's I think 4 minutes away or something, 4 or 5 minutes away. And we got some restaurants too, so yeah, pretty much everything that we need. So we're gonna go on a little walk to the beach now. It's supposed to be one of the nicest beaches on the island, so that's why our location is pretty good for the beach anyway. But the, the neighborhood we're in isn't that nice, to be honest. It's just loads of big stores. It's not like a residential area or anything. So yeah, it's like only us walking around. There's not even sidewalks properly. So you need a car really around here. Yeah, so this is the problem when you don't have sidewalk. 
Not for the squeamish. Look at Carol's foot. So they have these thorns on the ground from these trees here, and she just stood on one. That's a crazy amount of blood though. Whoa. You okay though? Yeah, it's hurting, but I think it stopped bleeding now. Oh yeah? Oh, but it hurts. Oh. Yeah, we'll get in the ocean, uh, the salt water will do you good, I think. Oh. Yeah, that's nasty. So this is the beach that we've come to, Eagle Beach. And that's where we are on the island. So I think the capital or Anjastad is more around this area. And yeah, we're staying more on this side at the top. So this beach is absolutely gigantic, super wide. Really beautiful though, super white sand. It reminds us exactly of the beaches in the Riviera Maya, like Cancun, the big beaches there. Also because you have the big hotels, so yeah, there's a big one over there. And back here you also have the, the big resorts. But look at that, that is some um, beautiful sand though, pure white sand. How, how is your toe now? Oh, it's better, it's not bleeding anymore. It's not the color of your bikini anymore. <laughs> no. No. It went in deep. I, I had to pull it out, Carol. I couldn't pull it out. And, yeah. yeah. And when you did, it just started bleeding a lot. It was like a lot. Never seen anything like that. It was weird how it how it stopped so yeah. quickly. Yeah, I was uh, I was fine because we were in front of a hospital. So I was like, <laughs> okay, if I need it, I can go there. Just go there. Yeah, and we right. have travel insurance, so it will be fine. But luckily, it stopped and now I'm okay. <laughs> Yeah, I still need to wash it off though in there. amazing just like Curaçao. That's one of the good things about these islands because all the main beaches are facing west so you don't have the sargassum issue like a lot of the Caribbean islands. Yeah I think Curaçao there are no big beaches right they're all like small little beaches. Yeah so that's like a totally different vibe and they don't have like this, those big hotels. Yeah I was saying that before so yeah those are some huge hotels. It's way more like Riviera Maya than Curaçao. Yeah, yeah just totally different. We were expecting it to be a bit similar, but it's just totally different. Yeah, completely different place. Another thing that makes it more similar to the Riviera Maya is you also have all the water sports going on. So you have like the parasailers, I think that's what we call it, the parasailing, the jet skis, banana boats, all that kind of stuff. And I also saw a guy doing water skiing as well. So yeah, you get all that over there as well. And on Curaçao, you didn't really see that that much. I think we did see some people on jet skis, but overall it was just more um, just people relaxing and stuff. And it's because the tourists are different. This island is pretty much all Americans and not that many Dutch. Whereas on Curaçao, there pretty much wasn't any Americans at all. And it was all Dutch people. Yeah, and I guess just the people are different. So the Dutch seem to be just wanting to sunbathe and yeah, they were just out frying in the sun all day. And I think uh, Americans, when they go to the Caribbean, they like to party more. Not all of them, but in general, when we go to the places where it's mainly Americans, it is kind of like this, this vibe with a lot of activities and stuff.
now we're going on a little mission to try and find an ATM because we're running out of money. So when we left to the Dominican Republic about five weeks ago, we took $2,400 with us in cash and only now it's running out. Obviously that doesn't mean we've only spent $2,400. There's a lot of stuff that we pay online, right? Like Airbnbs and even some boat tours and stuff we pay online. But the actual cash now has pretty much run out. And what we didn't realize is the currency here in Aruba is different to Curacao. When I checked, I saw that they were both called Gilda. So I thought that they were both the same, but it's not. They have their Gilda over there and here they have the Aruban Gilda. So we brought over like $50 of um, Gilda from over there and you can't use it over here. So we'll probably have to exchange it tomorrow for, um, yeah, for the Gilda over here. And we'll just try and get to an ATM now to get some money. Uh, so in front of the fancy hotel, you get a sidewalk. So you just gotta stay in front of a fancy place. So you won't lose your other toe now, Carol. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank God. We just need to stay here. Yeah. <laughs> ah, so on this island, they appear to have bike rentals. Didn't see that on Curacao. So I guess that will be a pretty cool way to get around. I guess you just have to download an app or something like I've seen in other countries. Or maybe you just pay here. Wonder how much it is. Wow, one day $25 for the bike. What? <laughs> yeah, a very expensive thing yeah. for a bike. I expected that though over yeah. on these islands. But you can get like three days, $49, five days, 69. Yeah, so if you used to get it for five days, it's actually a pretty good price. So the ATM is actually inside a casino. <laughs> yeah, so we're getting the money out to lose it all. <laughs> So we ended up getting $500 out and that ATM machine was called CMB, that's the bank here. And it charged us like $10 extra, the ATM fee. So pretty sure you can find better ATMs around here, but yeah, we don't really want to go looking around for it right now. So yeah, we just took a $10 hit. We're gonna have a few videos coming out from here in Aruba. We're gonna be here seven days in total. So yeah, quite a lot of days to explore the small island. And I think in the next one, we're gonna head to the center of the capital, Oranjestad. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's like Willemstad or if it's completely different, but yeah, we were planning on checking that place out and probably had some more beaches. It's so hot right now. So it's gonna be hard to not visit a beach every single day while we're here. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, just drop a like to support us. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram for more recent updates and we'll see you in the next one.